Ever since buying the $100 evolution shop offer, I am now heavily, heavily in debt, which is why today's video, we're gonna be playing the three evolutions that I actually care about. No one cares about barbs on ladder because I'm pretty sure I can win. And we're playing cycle decks, A, because they're fun, B, because I needed a challenge because this game's too easy, and C, or three, whatever number or letter I was using, because you need to play cycle decks so you can play the evolutions as much as possible because you have to cycle to them, okay? And we're gonna win, I guarantee. With every deck, we're gonna win first game. Okay, God damn it. Anyway, something I wanted to talk about as well. Okay, what? Is this guy playing the same deck? Like, what's good? Can we relax, buddy? Pal? What I wanted to talk about is I just watched the Arnold Schwartz... I'm not going to say his last name because I'm going to get cancelled. I'm just going to refer to him as Arnie. I watched the Arnie documentary. And if you guys know, don't know who Arnold Schwartz is, he is the most successful bodylifting champion of all time. He was also the Terminator. He was in a the highest paid... He was the highest paid actor in Hollywood. Um, when he was acting, which is kind of obscene. And he became the governor of California. So I was watching this and I was like, how the hell does one man do all these things and I can barely upload a YouTube video? Like what's going on? And I was watching it. And the biggest takeaway that I could see was how his attitude was. And I've really resonated with this. I remember when, ooh, I have level 15 skeletons. Oh, that must be because of the boost. I remember when I was making my YouTube videos like 24 hours playing Clash Royale, that doesn't sound fun, but I didn't think of it that way when I was uploading 24 hours of Clash Royale. I just had this specific goal in my mind. I can't believe we're playing Warbreakers. I had this specific goal in mind. I wanted to get to a certain subscriber account. I wanted to get views, and that's all I could think about while I was editing it, you know, spending weeks in my room editing it. It doesn't sound like fun. There's a million more things you can do that are fun, but when you're shooting towards like a specific vision, when you could imagine yourself in a position or getting something and you actually believe it, it doesn't matter what anyone thinks. It doesn't matter what it takes. You can really go through anything to get that if you truly believe it and you really want it enough. And I really did want it. And in this documentary, it's pretty much about how he was able to do that. And it's pretty interesting because he was able to work out at the gym like six hours a day. And he was talking about, okay, I'm going to use the evolved skeletons here. This better be good. You know what? Let's play him over here. Oh God. Okay. I'm going to have to concentrate for a second. Okay, please kill the war breakers. How did they both connect, dog? And my skeletons are dead. You know what? All right, we're going to do this. Bing, bong, bang. You're going to have to defend both lanes. Yeah. Why am I playing cycle? And why am I winning is the question. Anyway, bing, bong, bang. We shouldn't have taken any damage there. And I would have been chilling. If they both connect again, I swear. Okay, good. Thank God. Anyway, as I was saying, he had such a positive attitude in the gym because he was thinking of a goal. He was talking about how other people in the gym... Right, I've got to be ready for this incoming wall breakers push. So I'm just going to prepare myself before I keep rambling and then I lose the game because we're in a good position right now. Okay, you know what? We're going to go hard in the other lane. Play these in the back because they don't die to the, uh, the, wall, the drill death damage. I'm going to go lick this. Get a tank in. He's going to go for his thing. Doesn't matter. We're going to go wall breakers. We can go hard in the paint. Cert dominance. Peace out, girl scout. And he's going to go with Inferno Tower and Askami. All right, we got the Evolved Skeletons. Watch this 1,000 IQ player. Split him in the back. If he plays anything in one lane, they're safe. Now he absolutely has to defend the other lane. I actually don't want World's Worst Spear Goblins Award goes to those Spear Goblins played by me. All right, nice. He's playing stuff in the other lane. He's going to go with those Wall Breakers. So let's go like this. Bing, bong, bang. And then this Barbaro needs to clutch up right now. Oh my god, okay, only one connected. Alright, he's gonna go with the Skeleton Army if he can't afford Inferno Tower. This should be GG if I can get at least one! Yes! Oh no, it's not GG. Alright, so we're gonna have to go with this because that can target it from a distance. Um, not gonna go with his Wall Breakers, interesting. Okay, at least we killed that. Let's go with Wall Breakers in the lane. We're just trying to... <sighs> that is getting a dangerous amount of damage right now. Why is this coming down to the wire? I don't like that. Oh, he has Fireball. That's not good. Alright, I'm gonna go with this other lane because he has to answer it. We know which lane he thinks I'm going for. So we're going to go for the the mine games and go for the other lane. I'm also going to go wall breakers this lane because he might think it bypasses the Tesla even though it doesn't. Skeletons of the bridge just to scare him a bit. Yes, that's going to kill that and multiply. Oh no, oh no, oh no. No, 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 no hits for you, my friend. Skeleton! Oh my god, no. Okay, how am I going to... You know what? This is terrifying because he just needs one fireball. Please. Okay, I'm just going all in right now. Okay, this is not good. Okay, we're going to have to play this. No! Let's go. We're playing 2.1 Royal Giant Evolution Cycle now. We can't have any more of that. As I was saying, Arnold had such a positive attitude in the gym because he was shooting towards a goal. He had such a positive attitude. He was able to work so incredibly hard because he was just thinking of this one vision in his mind. He had this goal, this one goal, and it made everything fun. And I feel like 
when you just think of it as the grind, you know, society pushes... Oh my god, I love how that's level 15. And society... Oh my god, I already have evolved Royal Giant. It's one cycle. A society pushes... Oh, if you want to get anything, you've got to grind. You've got to work hard. And even Arnie says it. He's like, you've got to work hard and work your ass off. That is such a daunting message, you know. I'm like, oh, well, I don't want to work, you know, today. You've got to do it your own way. That's what I discovered. You've got to have a, a positive attitude. I think that's a huge thing, just in life in general. Having a positive attitude. Wait, my towers are level 15. Let's go. I don't even have to answer the furnace. Having a positive attitude is key. Okay, you know what? We're going to go for the Royal Giant Evolution of Lane. This is my first time playing it. Looks balanced so far. I would like to get back to bats so I can defend the Royal, uh, the Mega Knight. Oh, bro is going to lose his entire tower. Okay, we need ice. Oh, I don't have ice golem in this deck. Wait. All right, we're going to have to surround sound. Then we're going to have to go with the bummer up high. Um, okay, we need enough for fire spirit so it doesn't dump on the spear goblins. And then, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, we're going to have to go and play everything that doesn't immediately die. I will play skeletons for the... Oh, yes, they're level 15. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to play Bomber. Still a good start. Still an amazing start. Okay, relax. As I was saying, he has such a positive attitude in the gym. He's shooting towards his goals. And that means he's able to accomplish anything, you know? Obviously, there's the cliche of you don't listen to the haters. You don't listen to people who doubt you. But the concept of you do something and if you fail, it's good. It's so it's so basic, but it's it's so good. A lot of people won't do something because they're scared. And I've been like, I am like this. And I didn't even realize it. I just hear this saying all the time. People don't do things. They don't shoot for high goals because they're scared they won't achieve them. And it's so true. Like if you, what is the most like obscene goal you wish you could, uh, you could achieve? It probably sounds unrealistic. That is probably a good thing. If your goal sounds unrealistic or it sounds unachievable, if you can genuinely envision yourself in that goal, in that position, then you should definitely go for it. And if you fail, that's great. Because even if you fail, you learn and you realize that was not my time. I, I was not meant to make it then. Like I wasn't ready to make it then. Okay, I just have to defend for 12 seconds and then we're all good. Please, real giant. I mean, oh my God, it's doing so much damage. It's dead. And that is how you beat Mega Knight, E giant. And now we're playing the firecracker one. Oh my God. But as I was saying, if you fail at something, it means you weren't ready for it. If you are shooting for a goal and you fail and you don't get it right away, it means you were not ready. You were actually not prepared. You may think you were, but the universe is saying, no, you weren't ready. You were not ready to achieve that goal at that time. And the great thing is you are a winner as long as you don't like, just stay down. If you lose and you just never get up again, then you're just a loser. Like you're just proving everyone right who said you couldn't do that, that ridiculous goal, even if no one's done it before. If you can genuinely envision yourself in that position, wait, save the firecracker. Oh my God, level 15 firecracker evolved is gonna be nasty. Wait, I already have it. Oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, okay, it died, Never mind. Wait, I have the evolved one now, okay. So we're going to go like this, and we're going to go for a prediction at the bridge. May as well, because my cycle's so cheap, and it's broken, and... Wait, can I save it here? No! What? I thought it was targeting it. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Go with this, go with this. As I was saying, if you get up, and you fail, and you just keep getting up, you will eventually achieve your vision. If you work hard, and you genuinely are working hard, and you're enjoying it because you're working hard, because you're getting towards your goal, and it makes it fun, because it's fun, you don't burn out, you keep doing it, you're gonna achieve your goal, you're gonna get to your vision, and that makes you pretty much unstoppable. And that's so, I feel like that's such like a inspiring message. If you just don't quit, if you just, every time you fail, it's a learning opportunity. Okay, here we go, all right. Whoops, that's not what that was meant to be, all right. Come on, firecracker. Please carry. And bats are going to carry as well. Yes. You know what? I'm going to play this so we can get that damage. And then I'm going to try to take the other tower because I don't have a big spell. So I need to do it at some point when he's distracted on a push in the other lane like we have right now. And he does defend. Okay. You know what? Spear goblins, he has to defend anyway. All right. That's fine by me. Level 15 firecracker. This guy has level 13 cards. Poor guy. I'm playing level 15 firecracker. Does he not see the boosted cards? Just play them, dog. As you can see, they are boosted. In-game and level-wise. Bang. Okay, tow down. You know what? Let's just spam in the base and see what he does. Oh, firecracker. Let's go. Evolve firecracker. Okay, let me save it. Ugh. Jesus Christ. That card is slightly broken. No, you're not taking it away. 
I'm going to keep this thing alive all the way till it gets to his tower. Bing, bong. Yep, jump on the things in the middle, as long as the firecracker stays alive. And kill the bats, yep. Okay, this one fire- I want this one firecracker to take three of his towers right now. Come on, take the king tower! There's no way it's going to do 6,000 damage. Although it is trying. Okay, 3,000? Come on, 2,000? Oh, so close. Anyway, evolutions were somewhat fun. I enjoyed that with the cycle. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I just think, I don't know, the message of if you enjoy something... If you make it fun because you're shooting towards a vision and you genuinely believe you're going to get there and you work hard towards it, that is the best. And if you just don't give up and you, you fail and you get up and you get up, you can't, no one can discredit that. That makes you a winner. And um, that was my takeaway from that documentary. So I thought I would share what I thought was interesting about that. So yeah, you guys should watch it if you haven't watched it already. But you know what you should watch more of? My videos. Talk to you later, my choppers.